Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily set up an environment for Spring Boot. So we'll be installing an ID Spring Tool Suit. Okay, so it is based on Eclipse and Java. So at first we will download and install Eclipse and Java, then we will set up Spring Tool Suit, the ID for Spring Boot. Okay, so nowadays Eclipse comes with Java. So we just need to install Eclipse. So let's start with the first step that is to download and install Eclipse. Let's let us begin. Let's go to the web browser. I'm using Chrome. You can use any browser on Chrome type Eclipse. Press enter. On pressing enter the official website is visible eclipse.org. Click on it. On clicking on the top right click on download. We have reached the downloads page and here is the current version. You can see Eclipse includes Java so we don't need to install Java separately. For Windows directly click here. Click here. Click on download to start the downloads. So the download started. Here and you can see. Let's wait for a few seconds. The .exe file downloaded. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. Guys here it is. The Eclipse installer. Here in the versions for Eclipse are visible. Click the following for Java. If you want to run C or C++ programs on Eclipse click here. For PHP click here. We want for Java, so I'll directly click here. Here and you can see it automatically took Java. And here is the installation folder for Eclipse as well. You can change it from here, but keep it default. Create start menu entry, create a desktop shortcut. Yes, looks fine. Click on install. Now the installation will begin. Guys, we have successfully installed Eclipse. Click on launch. The desktop shortcut is also visible. Now here you can see it is asking us to select a workspace. So workspace is a place wherein all the Eclipse, all the Eclipse project, project files, files get saved. So keep the default, it will get saved under here. You will see this later. Now let us click on use as the default so that you don't need to select this workspace again and again when you will create a new project in future. Click on launch. So here is our Eclipse. So guys we successfully installed Eclipse. Now let us go to the web browser and install Spring Tool Suit for, for Spring Boot. Here in type Spring Tool Suit, Spring Tool Suit and press enter. Now click here on the first website that is spring.io. On reaching here, you will directly reach the spring.io slash tools page. Go below. We want for Eclipse. So here it is. Linux, Mac and OS and Windows. We want Spring Tools 4.16.1 version for Windows. Click on it to download. Now the download will start. The jar file, it's only 567 MB. Let's wait. So here it is the jar file. Right click. Click on show in folder. Now here it is, the file is visible, right click, extract it, after extraction the file is, the folder is here, double click, now here is contents.zip, right click and extract, extract all. Click on extract. Now you can see after the extraction the following is visible under contents. Click on the spring tool suit for .exe file. Double click. 
minimize this now you can see the launcher is visible it is asking for workspace so that you can keep the spring boot application in a different workspace okay i'll change it to let's say workspace spring tool spring let's say and it's fine keep the location same click on launch so guys we have successfully installed the spring tool suit for spring boot project from here you can directly create a java project and add the spring jar files so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install spring tool suit to run spring boot applications thank you for watching the video